What's going on YouTube? This is CJS064 here, welcoming you to episode number 8 of the Pokemon White Chili Lock. As always, if you've enjoyed the series, I will ask you as always to leave a like down below, um, to subscribe for more Pokemon content because as always, your support is appreciated. Um, we're going to go through a team review. We've made it to... Uh, Oh, by the way, if you have not seen the last episode, please do not watch this episode. Go ahead and watch all the other previous episodes so you can catch up and be up to speed on what we're doing over here. So, we made it to... Okay, you've missed your opportunity now. I have to spoil this if now you haven't watched it. We're at Castilia City. We're here to first Berg of the Bug Gym. Now, we're going to run through. We did have our first death in this, in this uh, fate, uh, first fatality of uh, this playthrough, which is rather unfortunate, but as you can see, we've got a new member in our team. Uh, his name is uh, Telepathy. And we're gonna go through a, a quick team review to just show you the people at home which Pokemon you have. But first, we have to deal with these guys. So, episode eight, you know what that means. It means 15, two minutes, and 15 seconds of this bullshit right here. Two minutes, 15 seconds. We'll fix this up first. Um, there we go. So, oh good lord, I'm gonna die on this episode. <laughs> uh, episode eight of the Chili Lock. Cheers. And time starts now. Why does it feel like these chilies are getting hotter? I don't know why. So I'll quickly go for a team review. Vanilla like snow cone. Crony dose use your head. BGM telepathy. Typhlosion chili. Betic bipolar and death from above chaz up. So we're going to have a look around and um, see what's up. So we can spot the Team Plasma bullshit happening. Oh. Uh. This is terrible. Oh yeah, we gotta tell about the dancers. I'm not even in the mood to talk, do voices. Oh. And as always, I've got my yogurt down there to kind of uh, cool this inevitable pain down. So it looks like a recent gym leader, but Sharon's in there, fantastic. I just challenged the gym leader. He's a seasoned gym leader that makes me work for that gym badge. But for me, bug type Pokemon are much of a challenge. <coughs> I'm gonna keep winning like this against all the United gym leaders. Then I'll head to the Pokemon League and outperform the champion. If I do that, everyone will admit what a strong trainer I am. That will make me truly alive. So someone's a bit power hungry. Two minutes, 16 seconds.
This is just too much. Don't run out now. It's on gone unfortunately. My tongue feels like it's inflamed and it's just swelled up in size. Try and I'll try and get through this, but if it gets too much, I'm gonna call an end to this. Uh huh. You're the one who fought Team Plasma in Team Little Forest. If I remember, your name is CGSL64. Come to the gym, challenge the gym, I suppose? Oh, sorry, but could you wait a bit? I was informed the Team Plasma has shown up. In fact, come with me. I'm going to the dock at Prime Pier. So, let's just quickly check our team to see. Um, we'll bring the telepathy back to the front. Ugh. Okay, so that's not prime here, but uh, yeah. <sighs> I don't know why the last two episodes the chilies just feel like they've just been dipped in hot sauce, and my god, they burn. They burn to the core. <sighs> oh, here we go. Come on, this way, this way, this way. Calm down, buddy. <sighs> Team, Plasma, Team Plasma, they took this uh, young lady's Pokemon. See, just so these four. Is there anything we can do? My moon. Uh, they took it. I heard this lady screaming, and I ran as fast after the thief as fast as I could. But this city's so big and so crowded, I'm afraid I lost them. Hey, miss, uh, you did everything you could, uh... But that's so bad! But that's so bad! Taking Pokemon's po- uh, Taking people's Pokemon is really bad! Because it's really nice when people and Pokemon are together. They each have something the other doesn't, and they help each other. Iris... Agree, no fear, we'll get that Pokemon back. Alright, CGS 64 Yeah, I totally agree. Having said that, finding a person or a Pokemon here in Castilla City will be like finding a needle. Excuse me. Kneel in a haystack. Or we can just find one of them. It's a chick. I spy a team leader. Last time went so well, I thought I'd grab another Pokemon. Rethinking. I need to get out of here. If that isn't bait, I don't know what is. See, just on 6 4, uh, let's go. Iris, uh, you stay here by this young lady's side. So you go after those bad guys, okay? Can do. Will do and can do. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna save Bianca's Muna from Team Plasma because that's what we're all about. We're just superheroes here. Man, that chili. Oh, that way. Hmm. They're heading toward the gym. So my question of the day. Uh, now we're talking, bringing up to the first battle here is. What is something that you guys want to see in the, on this channel? Because a lot of uh, different uh, streamers do things a little bit differently and I'd like to try to be a bit unique and do things a little bit differently, hence this chili lock. And um, it is, uh, today I don't know why, it just seems it's just 
very very hot and I mean I've finished the yogurt that I started off with three episodes, two episodes ago so I mean it's not too bad but it just it really hits you like so hard like someone's got um, a knife and just cutting your tongue with it because it's just burning that's just how it is uh, so we'll just continue on so like I said leave your comments down below tell me what you think we should do with this channel because I mean at the moment I'm pretty happy doing the LPs and I'm doing the Wi-Fi battles but if there's something else that you want to see this channel go in that in certain direction uh, let me know because like I said all uh, positive constructive criticism is appreciated now if there's something that I'm not doing right then um, you know you should just go ahead and let me know so this is definitely the place no one's here not a soul not another team plasma member nor any of the seven sages inside if you think I'm lying why don't you have a little battle and find out I had a thought I'll take care of the weak looking run so you can show off by handling that tough looking guy over there oh please leave this one with you so we go ahead and we've got Team Plasma here going off in the battle here and reversing obviously another Clerk. Clerk N. Brings out a Gothitelle. Whoa. Big Mama Gothitelle. With the frisks, frisk and our twisted spoon. Twisted spoon. Now I don't know how strong this uh, Gothitelle is so we're going to try and go for a side beam. Oh, she goes for a side beam as well, so we're just going to go back and forth from the side beams, but hopefully mine is going to do a little bit more because of a twisted spoon. And no, it does, well it does a little bit more, so I'm not... Now it's just a matter of who lands the confusion first. To get to the crit, of course you'd get the crit because why not? The only thing that could make this fair is if I land a crit, but that is total bullshit right there. Total bullshit. We'll get two double slaps and just leave it alone. No, it goes for three. This Gothitelle is a bitch. And of course we would just miss out because why the hell not? Why the hell not? Three. Unbelievable. That's unbelievable. That's all I can say. Got to landing a crit and bring us down to near death, but telepathy is going to get another level, which is good. And wants to learn headbutt. Now, I guess it's better than uh, heal block. So we're going to get rid of heal block, go for the miracle art, uh, and go for the headbutt. Only in situations where we're in psychic type mirror matches. Send in a Clefairy. We'll go for the swap and we'll bring in our use your head cranny dose. Because using your head always pays off. <coughs> My apologies to the head the headphone users. Go for the headbutt, does over 50%. Goes for the sing and misses it. That's good because now we're gonna go for the headbutt. And that's going to be the end of that Clefairy. And we defeat Cluck Ann. So we defeat the single. Does Bird take care of the other two? Yes, he does. This is bad! Bad, 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 bad for Team Plasma. Or Plasma Bad for short. Who the hell would say that? That is so terrible. Plasma Bad. It's in my best interest to go report to the Seven Sages right now. Bunch of bitches. Phew! We got lost! <sighs> Even with directions from the X-Transceiver, I couldn't figure it out. Team Plasma is inside. The stolen Pokemon may be in there as well. Okay, I'm going in. Okay, this time I'll join the fight. Come on, Bianca, you too. But wait! Uh, CJ 64 you come too. Well, I was coming regardless because I can't verse Berg until this... Bullcrap is sorted out, so let's go ahead. And here's all the seven sages. My word, if it isn't the gym leader, Berg. So, what did you say is the guiding principle of Team Plasma, anyways? Take what you want from people? I thought it would be amusing to prepare a hideout right in front of the Pokemon gym, but we were detected more quickly than I imagined. Indeed, no matter. 
We already have an exceptional base of operations. Is everyone familiar with the legend of the founding of the Unova region? I am. I am the white dragon type Pokemon, right? Oh, it's the white one. The truth is this. The white dragon appeared before a hero who sought the true way to knit together a world full of many warring people. The white dragon type Pokemon shed its knowledge and bared its fangs at those who stood against it. Together, the power of this Pokemon and the hero brought unity into the hearts of everyone in the land. And that is how Unova was created. We shall bring back the hero and that Pokemon to Unova once again. If we can win people's hearts and minds, we can easily create the world that I, I, I mean, Team Plasma desires. Here in Castilia, we have a lot of different kinds of people. Everyone's ways of thinking and lifestyles are very different. Honestly, there's something about what you're saying I don't quite understand. Yeah, <laughs> what is it? One thing is we all have in common is that we all care a lot about Pokemon. Even people meeting for the first time can talk about Pokemon. Talk or battle or trade. Remember your speech at Accumula Town? You are responsible for leading me to rethink my relationship with Pokemon. For that, I thank you. At that time, I made a promise. I swore to myself that I would dedicate myself to Pokemon even more strongly. What you guys are doing, aren't you going to strengthen the bond between people and Pokemon even more? <laughs> you were quite hard to figure out. A little more intelligent than I'd expected. I am fond of intelligent people, you see. You'll enjoy hearing about this. From every corner of the world, I have gathered knowledgeable people from our king's benefit. You could call them the Seven Sages. From Zelda Open of Time? No. Oh. Very well. We will submit to your opinion and be on our way. That girl over there, return her Pokemon. Luna, welcome back. Thank you. Moody, I'm so happy to see you again. Bianca, why are you thanking them? They take people's precious Pokemon. I'm just, I'm, I'm so happy that my Moona is safe. The friendship between Pokemon and people can be very touching. But in order to liberate Pokemon from foolish people, we will revive the legend of Unova and win the hearts and minds of everyone. Until the next time, farewell. And like black light, just disappear. What are you doing? Why are you letting them get away? Yeah. What do we do if anyone thinks happen to the other stolen Pokemon? It's okay, thank you Iris. No one was hurt. More than anything, I got my darling Pokemon back. Okay, if you're happy, what is everyone planning to do now? I oh, apologize. Running nose from the chili. How exciting. What is everyone planning to <coughs> <coughs> Apologies again. What is everyone planning to do now? Oh, it would be sensational to look around because of the city, but Don't worry, I'll be I'll keep on being your bodyguard. Iris. Woohoo, that's great! Iris is a dazzling Pokemon trainer, but maybe not at home in the big city yet. So a little give and take, hmm? People and Pokemon need to help each other out. Also, oh, also, thanks for looking for the Pokemon. Here, take this with you. A Yeche Berry, which I know for a fact is the ice, uh, reduces the damage of an ice attack once. So that is terrific. See ya! Well, wait! And Iris is being pushy. Well then, CGS064, I'll be waiting in the gym. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna battle Berg. Berg. In the, his gym. So that's good news for us that we're actually progressing through this. Uh, Pinwheel of the Forest just took so long in the last episode, and I do apologize for that. But I just realized we need to heal up and get some potions because um, I think we're down to one super potion left. And then uh, we should be good to take on Berg and the gym. So, as I said before, if you guys want to become a, an opponent on this channel, go ahead and follow me on Twitter, at Sharpino1990. As always, the links for that will be down below, as well as the link... <gasps> excuse me. The links for uh, the Facebook group, Xenos. We always welcome new members to our group. We do have our own set of rules, so... Um, it's not to say that if you don't like our rules, you know what, maybe this league isn't for you. It's not to say that you don't like 
a rule that our legs are too hard or you know we're just trying to make things difficult but everyone has their own set of rules for reasons and as long as you can explain why with reason then that is um that's fine i've got no problems with that so we've got all our super potions how are we going for great balls we've got two we'll get another two more um do we buy super potions i just didn't see our money go down no we did okay so we're going to go ahead and uh, challenge Bo. So I'm really excited to see um, how we go with this gym. Now this gym was uh, pretty hilarious when I first got to it just because of all the, the honey barriers and everything else. So um, that and all the like hidden enemies in the button. So when you think you've got a button pressed for the next area, it just turns out to be another, um, another, another trainer. So here we are. Let's talk to this guy, get some fresh water. What do you think of Castelli Gym? I bet with all these bustling people, you'll start feeling worn down on your way to the gym. Never mind, take this, it'll help. So we've got the fresh water, customary with every visit to a gym in the uh, Unova region. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Okay, so here we go. We're gonna go straight through this. Okay, we gotta go straight through the middle. The fun, that sounds pretty funny. So we get through our first barrier. Now we just have to watch out for, like I said, hidden trainers and everything else up. So we can keep going over here, we'll versus clown. <laughs> Battles of the Kazili Gym are beautiful. <laughs> They're pure art. <laughs> Cause you know, clowns are funny and funny looking and just funny in general. So we're versed by Gentleman Cristiano with the clown outfit. Brings out the Luminion. Luminion. We bring out telepathy level 20. See, this is what I'm talking about. Now we're falling behind levels. Um, we might need to grind up in the next episode, but hopefully that won't be the case. So, okay, she's gonna go, or he, sorry. He's gonna go for that rain dance and we're gonna go for a confusion, hoping to land a confusion hacks because we are so underleveled, we don't. And unfortunately it just means now this water gun is just gonna do a lot of damage. It's not as much as I would have thought, but this next confusion should, I don't know where that come from. Um, the guff shouldn't do much because it's not stab. Confusion goes through. And of course it would just leave on one. Like, well, come on, really? Now it's just unnecessary. And we lose telepathy to a goddamn critical hit. For the love of God, man. Like, really? Come on now. We'll send in Snow Cone. We'll go for Icy Wind, I guess. Our speeds. Of course, critical hits. Just critical hits every day. Like, come on. So we get a lot of experience from that. Snow Cone goes up to level 19, which is good news for us. Wants to learn Avalanche, which actually is pretty good if we know we're going to get outsped. Um, and that's physical as well. So we're going to get rid of Uproar and go for the Avalanche. So if we know we're going to get outsped, we go for the Avalanche. Uh, Ampharos. Let's bring in... Um, oh, we'll bring in Use Your Head. I don't think we have speed. I don't think we did. This is really unfortunate. We've lost BHM and that headbutt does nothing. Alright, so we're now we're paralyzed. Reduce our speed. Yep. That's not going to matter to us because we're just going to be keeping going for the headbutt. Ugh. I'm a little bit annoyed, but critical hits are part of the game. As I keep saying to everyone, and I know it, I, you hear it over and over and over again, and I hate having to accept it because it's annoying, and especially in the LP, 
and now you've got an entire team just like the cries to when it says a rock type. Like, it's just, it's terrible. But he's not doing any damage to us, so I mean, that's pretty good. We get our first turn of paralysis, which is unfortunate, but basically, uh, hopefully this headbutt will be enough to kill it. I really hope it does. And we get another turn of confusion. So now the power turns are coming in when he's growling, and at this point, it looks like it might take two headbutts to finish it off. And I was right. Son of a bitch. Son of a freaking bitch. So we're definitely going to be swapping out and use your head because now it's just... It's attack is just piss weak. Like, it's, it just does nothing. We get all the experience. He gets level 19, which is... I guess it's good news for us. He wants to learn Scary Face. Of all the moves we have... Nah, we'll keep... We won't teach a Scary Face. We've got Icy Winds on... Um, Snow Cone and Bipolar, and we defeat Christiana, which is fantastic. Unfortunately, we have lost the mod. Now, what I'm going to do is... I'm just deciding if I want to bring out the Arcanine now. I mean, Arcanine does have the Intimidate, so it would actually help out. So, we're going to go ahead and... Uh, I'm going to come back. Uh, I'm going to come back here when we have the Arcanine in our team. So we're back here in uh, Castellia's gym and we did bring on the Arcanine, the Tramp that we called it. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to check out the stats so you guys know exactly what we're dealing with. So we've got another naive natured Pokemon, Arcanine. So that's decreased special defense, increased speed. So it's really fast, it's got good attack and uh, special attack, but it's just, yeah. All, these per all my team is just does not like taking special attacks. So what we're going to do is to get Arcanine some training. We'll keep Arcanine out front, so um, we'll go ahead and um, use the Intimidate off so you can actually help out against the other Mons. Um, and we've got a guy here. When you step on the switch, the one that pops out is Moi! On that note, let's have a battle with Moi! Oui, oui, French. So we've got another gentleman, Webster in a clown costume, bringing out the Metapod. Now this actually would be good training for my Arcanine because this Metapod is not going to do anything to it. So it could have been, it's actually a pretty good thing that we bought it. So let's go for the Fire Fang. That does a lot of damage. He's going to harden up because that's all a Metapod can ever do or hope to achieve. Go for the Fire Fang. Get the level up. Level, level, level up. Brr. Just lives because he's been hiding up for so long. Getting ready for that. Oh, there's the butterfly. Ugh. And down goes that Metapod. Yeah, level 11. That's what I'm talking about. Second level? Nah, okay. Grow Vial. We'll keep him into the experience. But we're going to swap out and we're going to bring in Chili just so Chili can get some experience as well. The, back, the fact that they're both fire types is not a big problem. Goes for the quick attack. That should do nothing. We'll go for the Ember. He's going to outspeed us. Go for the quick attack again, because why not? Ember should do 50%. Just over 50%, which is very nice. Now we should outspeed, because he doesn't go for quick attack. And down goes the Grovile. Green Chili gets to level 19. Sweet as. And Tramp goes to level 12. You trampy tramp. Trampy, trampy tramp. So, we're looking pretty good here. Honey makes things dull. Well, don't be the idiot caught with a dull light. So, we're going to go ahead and step on these switches and get through. And the other one here. Okay, all good. I hate these barriers for the fact you have to walk directly in the middle, otherwise it's not going to do anything. What the? Oh, I must have let go. First main barrier unlocked. Terrific. Open this button. Oh, 
Now I've got a feeling that that button there is another enemy, so we're going to go ahead and skip over that button. Just because I I just want to get this gym and get out. Because, uh, wrap things up, we'll try and get through the story mode. We're at episode 8 and we're only at the third gym. Which I mean isn't too bad, but, um, these chilies though, they're really creeping up on you. They do really creep up on you. <laughs> so, last switch here. What do you think this Pokemon Gym, how should I say, isn't it full of outrageous and mysterious charms? No, it's just full of loony tunes, you know? That's all, folks. That's what I'm talking about. Brings in Veron uh, Veronica. Brings out the Gibble. Gibble, Gibble, Gibble. I don't like the Gibble. But we are going to get a little assist from Tramp here, who's going to go for the Intimidate to bring it down. And we're going to go ahead and go for the swap and bring in Snow Cone, because Snow Cone could use some experience. Now, I know a lot of these mods don't evolve until late game. Like, I know, um, Snow Cone doesn't evolve, or Vanilla doesn't evolve into... Oh! That's a ground type move. And we're trapped. So, yeah, so, um... I've lost my train of thought. Um, oh, yeah, so Vanilla Light evolves into... Uh... I can't even remember what the second form is. But I know its final form is Vanillax, so that's the main thing. And that doesn't evolve into that until like 47. So we do have speed. We're going to go for the Ice Circle Spear, and that sh two hits should be enough to kill a Gibble. Gibble, Gibble, Gibble. And that's good news for us. Tramp gets another level. Tramp just, you know, Tramp stamping everywhere she goes. Weeping Bell. I think we should be able to handle this with the, with the Tramp. The only issue is if... Uh, she goes, if this Weeping Mill goes for a Poison type move, which I'm not too sure if they know Acid at this point. I think they do. Are we going to risk it for the Biscuit? Are we going to risk it for the Biscuit? Yeah, why not? We'll go, we'll go for it. We'll go for the Fire Fang and uh, we land it. And the Super Effect does have a half. We get the Burn, which is absolutely amazing. And she goes for the Sleep. That's going to go for the Sleep Powder. Now that's rather unfortunate. But the burn is going to get residual damage off, which is phenomenal. So we'll see, and we'll go for the Fire Fang again, but we, we are asleep, and we're going to go for a wrap. And because it's burnt, it's going to do <laughs> one damage. And that burn is just whittling it down, and the wrap is going to do... Wrap <coughs> going to do its work. We get a second turn of sleep, which is rather unfortunate. Going to go for another wrap, it's not going to really do anything. I'm surprised it didn't go for acid because I really was expecting acid to kind of happen, you know. Not the trippy acid, like, hey, bro, get on the acid, bro. We wake up, we go for the Fire Fang, and that Weeping Bell is gone, gone, And this tramp is putting in the work. All these grass mods making leveling up Arcanine all of the more better. And he just misses out on an additional level. So now we're going to push this last button. And that should bring us to the final pinnacle of this gym, which is, of course, Berg, the insect gym leader. Now, of course, because this randomizer, um, it's not obviously going to be insects. I mean, I wish it was, because based off our team, we would love that. We would lap it up. So here we go. Thanks again for your help. Uh, my bug Pokemon are scurrying with excitement about getting to know you. Oh, <laughs> scurry. Let's get straight to it. Third gym battle, here we go against Tia. <laughs> Tia. Looks like a girl, so I mean, Tia would be an appropriate name if he was in fact a girl. Fan Tia. Three Pokemon, here we go. First Mon is Dealing. Which is perfect for us. Absolutely perfect. For our Fire Fang, for our Tramp over here, that Fire Fang is going to put in the work. Absolutely. All these Grass Pokemon, you think we're at Seldon City with all these Grass types. He goes for the Leech Seed, but we dodge it, and we go for the Fire Fang, and that's going to kill it. It's a crit! We get the crit and we kill it, and we level up like a mother. Getting that experience, low punny. Okay, now this is where things are gonna get just a little bit dicey here. We're gonna bring in. Pro uh, oh shit! Okay, I've just kept it in. Now I don't trust the fact that this is normal type, so we are gonna go ahead and swap out for use your head because. Low punny with stab normal moves is no joke. No joke. So hopefully Cruny Dose will be able to stick it in there. Jump kick. Oh, 
Oh my gosh, that was so close. So close. Oh my god. Oh my god. That jump kick almost killed our Kranidas. Like, what the hell? What the hell? Oh my gosh. So we're going to bring in Charizard now, knowing it's going to pack that jump kick. The quick attack's not too bad, but oh my gosh. We're going to go for Dragon Rage here, and she's going to go for another quick attack. That son of a bitch. Dragon Rage, let's see how we go. Okay, over half, which is good. So now we're going to go for another Dragon Rage. Hopefully they'll kill it. Don't crit me. Okay, good. So we go for the Dragon Rage, and that brings out the low punny down and out. My god, that jump kick, he almost killed, use your head. So for the second time, use your head has been within 5 HP of death. Defei wants to learn um, Scary Face, and uh, no, we don't need it. Tramp goes to level 16, which is absolutely fantastic. Chikorita. I think now would be more appropriate for Tramp to finish it off. Another Grass Mon for the Fire type, because why not, you know? And we get the attack reduction with the Intimidate, so that's good news for us. And this is apparently the Star Mon. So this Star Mon is going to be taken out by our newcomer. And it's almost down. Magical Leaf. That shouldn't do much. It does a bit because we are lacking in the Special Defense Department, but it doesn't matter because we kill this Chikorita, and ladies and gentlemen, we have won the third Gym Badge. I am so happy with that. Very, very, very happy. Oh, I lost. Sounds like <laughs> Warrior. Oh, I lost. Whatever, losing to you doesn't bug me because you are amazing. Haha, <laughs> amazing, get it? This is the gym badge, so you beat me, so now it's yours. So now we get ourselves the beloved insect badge. Add that to our case. Ah, just a bit off, but we got the insect badge, so that's terrific news for us. So, it's the insect badge. It's insectable. I mean, incredible. If you have three badges, Pokemon for level 40 will obey you, including trained Pokemon. Because I'm a generous guy, I will also give you this. Oh yeah, I forgot that we had um, Shadow Ball from the last gym, and we've yet to use that, so... Retaliate, so... It's okay, it's a normal type attack, it gets more powerful with a knockout, so... And Struggle... Well, it's better than Struggle Bug. Just based off our team, it is actually a lot better. So... Um, we're gonna leave things here, and um, next time we come back, we'll be at the Pokemon Gym of Casilla City. Ready to head towards the next area, which is Nimbasa City. But of course, you've got that secret desert area, which we are going to do in the next episode. So, thank you very much for watching this episode. If you've enjoyed the series so far, and you've enjoyed the chili lock, and watching me almost, you know, explode full of chili, uh, leave a comment, like the other video, and comment, subscribe, follow us at Zeno's Facebook group. This is CJS064. Thank you for watching. Uh, whoever's watching this, wherever you're watching this, over and out, CJ664, and as always, I'll see you next time.